you won't believe what China just did on the moon. Prepare to be astonished as we unveil China's groundbreaking achievement on the lunar surface. This jaw-dropping feat has defied expectations and rewritten the history of space exploration. Join us as we delve into the details of China's incredible accomplishment and explore the implications for the future of space travel. Remember watching astronauts bounce around on the moon? Those iconic images of space pioneers leaping in low gravity captured our imaginations and made us dream of the stars. Welcome to Revo, now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like and share our videos. Back then it was the ultimate frontier, a place where only the bravest dared to venture. The moon was a symbol of human ingenuity and ambition, barren, desolate and drier than the Sahara. The moon seemed like an inhospitable wasteland, a place where life could never thrive. Fast forward to today, and we're talking about extracting water from moon dust. Yes, you heard that right. The very dust that covers the lunar surface could hold the key to sustaining life beyond Earth. Sounds like something straight out of Star Trek, right? The idea of turning moon dust into water seems like pure science fiction. This is not science fiction, my friends. This is science fact. Our advancements in technology and science have brought us to the brink of a new era in space exploration. Chinese scientists have made a groundbreaking discovery. Their innovative research has unlocked a method to extract water from lunar soil, a feat once thought impossible. They found a way to produce water from lunar soil. This process involves heating the soil to release water molecules trapped within, a revolutionary technique that could change the future of space travel. This isn't some tiny puddle we're talking about. The potential yield of water from lunar soil could be substantial, providing a vital resource for astronauts and future lunar colonies. We're talking about a potential game-changer for space exploration, a potential wellspring that could quench the thirst of future lunar inhabitants. Imagine the possibilities. With a reliable source of water, we could establish permanent bases on the moon, moon bases, lunar cities, even fueling rockets for deep space missions, all using resources found right there on the moon. This discovery could pave the way for a new era of sustainable space exploration. This discovery has opened up a universe of possibilities, and it's just the beginning. The moon could become a stepping stone for humanity's journey to Mars and beyond. So buckle up space cadets, as we delve into this incredible discovery and explore how moon water could change everything we thought we knew about space exploration. The future of space travel is here, and it's more exciting than ever. We all know what moon dust looks like, that fine grey powder clinging to everything in those iconic Apollo photos. It's a symbol of human exploration and the mysteries of our closest celestial neighbour. But what exactly is this stuff? What makes it so unique and different from the soil we encounter here on Earth? It's not like the dirt we find in our backyards. Earth soil is rich with organic material, teeming with life and nutrients. Lunar soil, on the other hand, is devoid of organic matter. Lunar soil, or regolith, is the result of billions of years of cosmic bombardment. Over time, the moon has been relentlessly pelted by asteroids, meteoroids and micrometeoroids. Imagine asteroids, meteoroids and micrometeoroids constantly smashing into the moon's surface. Each impact shatters rocks and grinds them into finer and finer particles. This pulverizes the rocks, creating a layer of fine, powdery material. This is what we call lunar regolith, a unique blend of crushed rock and dust. But here's the kicker. Within this seemingly barren dust lies hidden treasure, water molecules. These molecules are a game-changer for future lunar exploration and potential colonization. These molecules are locked away, trapped within the crystal structure of the minerals that make up the lunar soil. It's like a secret reservoir, waiting to be tapped. Think of it like this. Imagine a sponge filled with water but unable to release it easily. That's lunar soil. The water is there but it's not readily accessible. We just needed to find the right way to squeeze those water molecules out. 
scientists are developing innovative techniques to extract this water, which could be crucial for sustaining human life on the moon and beyond. So, how do you extract water from something as dry as moon dust? The process might sound complicated, but bear with me, it's actually quite elegant. The Chinese scientists used a method called extraterrestrial photosynthesis. Remember learning about photosynthesis in school? Plants use sunlight, water and carbon dioxide to create their own food. Extraterrestrial photosynthesis works on a similar principle, but instead of plants we use lunar soil. Sunlight triggers a chemical reaction in the lunar soil, releasing the trapped water molecules. This vapor is then collected and condensed, transforming it into usable water. It's like having a solar-powered water factory right there on the moon. Now, you might be thinking, if sunlight is all it takes, why haven't we been collecting moon water all along? That's where the catalyst comes in. Just like in a chemistry experiment, a catalyst helps speed up a reaction. In this case, the catalyst is a material that helps the lunar soil absorb sunlight more efficiently, thereby releasing more water. Think of it like giving the lunar soil a pair of sunglasses that allow it to see and use sunlight better. This catalyst is the key to unlocking the potential of lunar water. Without it, the process would be too slow and inefficient to be practical. Okay, so we can extract water from moon dust. This discovery is monumental. Great, but what's the big deal? Why is this such a groundbreaking achievement? Why is everyone so excited about a little bit of lunar H2O? What makes this discovery so special? Well, water on the moon isn't just for drinking. It's far more significant than that. It's a game changer for space exploration for several reasons. Let's dive into why this is so important. First, it means we don't have to haul massive amounts of water from Earth for future lunar missions. This is a huge logistical advantage. Imagine the cost and logistical nightmare of shipping water all the way to the moon. The savings in resources and effort are immense. Second, water can be split into its basic elements, hydrogen and oxygen. And guess what? These elements are incredibly useful. Those are the key ingredients for rocket fuel. This means we can create fuel directly on the moon. This means we could potentially use lunar water to refuel spacecraft on the moon, making it a refueling hub, turning it into a cosmic gas station for missions deeper into space. This opens up new possibilities for exploring the universe. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. How much water are we actually talking about? Is there enough to sustain a lunar base, let alone fuel rockets? While it's still early days, initial estimates suggest there could be billions of tons of water ice hidden within the moon's polar regions. And remember, we're not just talking about ice here, but also the water trapped within the lunar soil. While we don't have all the answers yet, the potential is enormous. It's like discovering a vast, untapped oil reserve, but instead of oil, it's something even more valuable. Water the lifeblood of space exploration. This discovery has put us on a fast track to a future we once only dreamed of. Imagine lunar bases bustling with activity, scientists conducting experiments, and astronauts venturing out on daring missions from our very own lunar outpost. The ability to extract water from lunar soil removes a major obstacle in our quest to explore the cosmos. It opens up a realm of possibilities, not just for scientific discovery, but also for commercial ventures. Mining companies are already eyeing the moon for its resources and water is at the top of their list. This could lead to a new era of space exploration driven by both public and private interests. You might be thinking, this is all very exciting, but how does it affect me? Well, for starters, it means we're living in an era of unprecedented scientific advancement. The discoveries being made today will shape the future of humanity. Just like the Apollo missions inspire generations to dream big, this discovery has the potential to ignite a new passion for space exploration. Furthermore, the technologies developed for lunar water extraction could have applications here on Earth. Imagine being able to extract water from the driest deserts, providing relief to water-scarce regions. The possibilities are truly endless. So there you have it, moon water a game-changer for space exploration and a testament to human ingenuity. What are your thoughts on this groundbreaking discovery? Do you think we'll have lunar cities in our lifetime? What other uses can you envision for lunar water? Share your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. Let's keep this conversation going and explore the infinite possibilities that lie ahead.
Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.